Game 3, session, session 3 has begun. First stop is visiting Scotland and checking out the market. Okay, I think it went down about 3.3 coins. Not a good price, that is. Now, if you don't want other people to join your state when they join the game, keep your state coins low. Because the higher that is, the more of a chance that they're going to roll to the end of the game. Under that state. Okay, here we are. Um, I think I can select this. And it's time for me to see how much money I have with this association. Eleven. The commission upon. Board the canoe. And set out. All right, technically, oh, we found somebody, all right. Okay, this is, um, it's only a village, but at least it's something. So, got the half sit here, so I'm going to go into my family and select civilizations and select half sit. And that's not enough, but don't, that bit of order, it should be. Okay, so half sit has 230. I have 231 reputation with the half sit. All my reputation from the entire game is accumulated and goes to them. So I am now the ally of the half sit. So I can control them. See what they got. Pieces. One pawn. <laughs> and there's a storm right there. This is just my luck. This is unbelievable. Okay, great. This is wonderful. Oh, okay, it dissipated. Nice. If it rolls a 10, it dissipates. So that was a close one. But still, I'm down to one pound already. And I just started, so that's not ideal at all. Not at all. Okay. It's ridiculous. I actually should have checked their profile now, because... Like, when I first started testing the game, I didn't have any access to that information while I was playing, but now I do. So I'm just not in the habit of looking. Okay, now the next question is, do I want to... Again, this map is buggy. There it goes, right when I say it. be able to figure anything out for now. Do I want to go all the way down there and start colonies? Probably not because it came to mind that that first layer of North Africa in this game is actually going to be Southern Europe technically so it's not going to provide North Af or Africa or Asian goods. So I'm not sure where I want to start this colony. Um, let's go to the state. Check this out. Markets. Um, yeah. So we're here in the northwest. Northwest region. That's really. I think what I'm going to do actually, this is a good idea, I'm going to go down to that little square that's technically in the Atlantic, which whenever you get those it's good to colonize those if possible. In this case I can because it is a regular land, so I'm going to go do that. It's going to take a while, but I can do it. Okay, so the question is do I want to drive these prices up right now by buying this good and going and making some money or do I want to do it well I have my civilization has so much money so I might as well buy for just one good here this is actually risky maybe I shouldn't do this because I have a really I have a 1% chance of causing a plague 
And if this thing gets a plague, then it has a 50% chance of being destroyed. So that would be really bad luck, so let's just see how good bad my luck is. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, plague rolls 22, we're good. And we'll head up back up to Europe. We're going to head all the way to Scotland to sell that good. By the time we get to Scotland, hopefully it's a little bit more valuable. Okay, and then we're going to want to go into Half Sid and explore around here. Are you serious? No pawns, folks, no pawns. And I'm going to take an emergency measure here and I'm going to spend... Oh, that's right, there's another bug where there's... Um, sometimes when you make a bug fix or something, you do something, it um, causes another small bug. So that's what I have right now. I have to do a manual refresh when purchasing a pawn here. So I'm going to have to do this ten times. Whoops, what am I doing? Commission. So we got to get this thing to the city in case this thing hits, in case the storm hits here. Then it'll just take it down to a village. So this is just a really bad situation. I don't know how I'm having such bad luck in my videos that I'm making. And this is going to just totally destroy the market here. Cause huge inflation. Because we got to buy all these pawns. Not ideal. Yeah, so whenever you encounter a bug, if you're playing, um, and that's going to be common while we're still in the later stages of development here, just do a, a, a manual refresh. That usually fixes the problem. Okay. How many pawns do we have now? Six, seven, eight, three more. Yeah, that's expensive. Okay, inhabit. And now we have a city. And we're down to look at that price for a pawn. That's insane. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to still head south with this guy. So we'll be able to sell these Amarind goods to both here and Europe. That's the good thing. Okay, and another thing I want to do, let's see, okay, I should die here. I'm going to sell some more shares. See if I can commission another boat so we can get this trade going. So we're going to have two boats going back and forth from Scotland to uh, North Africa for now. And then we'll make it more efficient later. And I'm also, next year, I'm going to start purchasing more settlers for this colony. As we can see, we have a really, really long journey. Um, we're heading south. Whew, should I risk this? Gosh, I don't even know if it's a shortcut, so I'm not going to risk it.
So I believe, yeah, this is the tile we want to create a colony on. And if you guys remember what the first game, I think our colony was destroyed by the plague twice before it finally became immune. So there's that. Oh, another thing I can do to make this more efficient is try to take over Granada, your prestige. Which would simulate something like marriage or whatever. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that right now. Actually, I'm pretty positive I won't be able to. <laughs> Not with three coins. Can't have a royal wedding like that. Okay. Head up. Head down. Then that would be a nice easy trade route between Scotland, or between Granada and North Africa. Assuming North Africa survives. Yes. And I need to get this boat down fast because once the year hits I want to start getting those prices in the half sid. the half said village down or it's a city now okay so I could just sell this good here but then it's gonna wipe out it's gonna flood this it's gonna go down so I don't want to do that because I'm planning on acquiring the state so I'm gonna see if I can have any luck here and have this map not gonna function on me uh, that's too much to ask for still might be able to see All right, it's working. It's working. Keep working. There it is. Okay, so if I go north, I might be able to find a shortcut, but it's going to be risky. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go the long way around here. Okay, let's go. In about a little over a minute, I'll start buying more pieces. To send down for the colony. So really, I'm booked for time right now, even though I have three pieces. And I run a civilization and I run a state. So right now there's not much to do with the state, and nor is the civilization because I just did this, so I just have to wait on things here. But usually you're going to be totally booked for time just with that little amount of stuff. So you got to manage which prey your priorities, basically. And again, like when there's other players, that's going to just, it really complicates it fast. And then you really have to pick your priorities. But right now it's pretty leisurely. Guys, going south. So we're going to need a bunch of canoes. I think we're only going to need one pawn. So that's not the best because canoes are more expensive. See what we're at. Infrastructure. Well, that's still quite expensive. I don't have a lot of money. See how much I got. So it might just be better to wait, but kind of impatient. Then again, if I just sell a share and buy. Right, well, that'll make the infrastructure go up faster too. That's a good thing about high prices. So I will do that. I'm 
Alright, let's commission another canoe. Wait, I gotta sell some shares here. Take this down to 100. We'll get two of them for now until this clears out a little bit. And then if we go to the skip this. If we go to the bourse, we can see that we can see the infrastructure went up approximately eleven. We're already just been purchasing those canoes. Of course that drives up the price of the good, the home good, which is now at three point four. Not too bad, but not good for this stage in the game. Okay. Uh, going north. Oh, south. Okay. Let's just go south with that one. Commission another one, so we're really going to be driving up the prices here. Oops! That was a big mistake. Because now I have a catapult that I don't need. <laughs> Great. I just wasted a bunch of money. That's perfect. Man, I'm going the wrong way all over the place. What the heck am I doing? This should be going north. The other one should be going south. So I think we're going to need, actually we're going to need two pawns. Okay. Two pawns and five canoes to build this colony. Put it down. Put it down. So I might as well get this pawn right now. And board this canoe. going north with this now. Let's not screw that up again. And then Scotland can charge taxes. So that's how Scotland, the state, will profit from it. So obviously if I if Scotland takes it over and I do business there, my personal association is profit. And Scotland can also profit through taxes if I go through that, if I want to do that. get there before the end of the year. The village. The city. city.
No, wrong way. Wrong way. Almost to the site of our future colony. Now when we do get down there, we gotta hope that the storm does not hit that city and reduce it to a village, and then hit it again and totally destroy it, which is very possible. Okay. Um, 29.27. There, disembark. South. So that is going to be the place of our colony right here. And I'm just going to go visit the, um, city while I'm down here. So we don't have to wait on the boat. And then the boat will just hang out when it gets there. Until those prices recover. Now another thing when other players are on the map, you can invest in their projects, whatever they're planning to do. So it's good to diversify, get as many as you can, and um, especially if you know the person, because that can boost your income like crazy. Point seven. Yeah, I don't want to buy anything yet this year. Price is still really bad. It's gonna get really bad if I keep buying, even though I need it. So I need one, two pawns, and then one, two, three, four, five canoes to build this colony. Getting up to the British Isles finally. So that's a pretty long journey. Oh, yeah, that's what that's what took it so long. Um, there's a bug when the storm hits something, it, um, doesn't dissipate either. And you gotta do a manual refresh. If it hits one of the cities or villages, still. Oh, I went the wrong way again. That storm threw me off. Okay, now where is the storm? See, now this thing is in a bad situation. This is really bad. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford to... This is a bad situation. I'm not going to be able to afford to do this. So, our root plan is really failing out here. But at least we'll have this colony eventually. At this point, it might just be a bit better idea to try and explore more. Try to find a city.
Lord. That storm is the worst. Oh man, where am I going? Okay, so I could just they could be wiped out with this move right here. Village of Half Said is wiped out by storm. There goes our complete plan. <laughs> so basically, I can't play as a civilization now unless another Half Said village or city is discovered. And the odds of that are not great. They're all right, but who knows where it's going to be? Not, probably not going to be anywhere close to there. So. Yeah, that's bad. So at this point, it's just a better idea to colonize down here. And that is, I'm still going to explore too on the side. To try to find something. Uh, for some reason, I was going north with those. Okay, got to be careful around here now. Dissipating. Finally arrived in Scotland. Jay, I don't know where it went. No idea. So I'm just going to let this boat get by here and begin exploring properly with that and then we can buy our remaining canoes hopefully soon okay let's check out the market price here I'm only gonna get 29 I traveled all that way just for that I probably should have checked that before because I could have just sold somewhere else and went down and got another one but then again I couldn't because the prices were so high and then the storm destroyed the source so I'm just gonna wait here then we're gonna have another odd situation again where I'm selling Amarin goods before I sell after Eurasian goods to you which again is not the norm yeah sometimes you get a colony or maybe if you're really lucky two colonies that you can establish in the Atlantic you can get a little bit of trade going, but usually you're already trading with Afro-Eurasians by then. Or at least um, Afro-Eurasian trade is going to is gonna far surpass your trade with the small Atlantic islands if you find them in the right place. Okay, here we go. Exploring. Next year, Scotland Market. Still really high prices. Um, could take loans too. Take this down to a hundred. Uh, wasted a coin. Commission. Canoe. And now I would have what I need right now if I didn't accidentally buy that catapult. So now prices are really high. So I'm not going to be buying anything there for a while, for a couple of years. And my investments have dropped down dramatically. But we do have our final canoes on the way, I think. Okay, let's explore. 
can always keep your eye on the event over here for explorations. So by next session we should probably be able to build this colony. Now I could play it safe here and stop exploring and then use this boat for trade. But I do have one up here already. No, it is waiting. So I'm taking quite a risk, but this could open up new trade, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. So now we can get 31 out of that. I'm still gonna wait. Not really in a big hurry for money. That would have been nice to find a village there. Get another place in Atlantic. Quite far south though. Yeah, in that first game, found a lot of places in Atlantic pretty close to home. So definitely not in that situation right now. Could possibly be if I sailed something out there. Could try it. Kind of like the Vikings did. an idea, but I'd rather wait to get vessels before I venture into the ocean. Thirty to seven. So that wasn't the Atlantic. Still, this is the African coast right here. Oh, there's a village, or a settlement. Okay, we just need two canoes. I don't even know why I went in there. So the law of average <coughs> would say that I would sink soon. Hopefully that'll be wrong. Yeah, I'm getting pretty far south, I'm probably want to give up soon, but curiosity makes me want to keep going. Oh, and it worked out. All right. So now we have somebody to trade with. The Umea. Live on through North Africa. Which in real life they were pushed to the Iberian Peninsula Army, and that's the only area they controlled for the most part this late. Of course by now I think they lost a lot of those territories in Iberia. They did have Granada though at this point. Had that quite a long time. Okay so now the only risk here is plague so I'm not going to explore anymore. Which probably will eventually happen. But I can make a lot of money by then.
Now, only if I could control the Umea, that would be ideal. But I've already used my selection for Afro-Eurasia, so I can't. Someone else can, though. Getting close. So until a plague strikes that city, we have a good trading partner down there. And there's a 1% chance of that with each trade. So this guy's just going to chill here until this colony is built. Yeah, because if someone could control the Omea, they could uh, take their pawns and go conquer that settlement. And right there, they would have two localities. 